is King Charles the worst leader in the history of the royal family? This is a provocative question that may not have a definitive answer. However, based on the news reports from various sources, we can try to examine some of the achievements and challenges of King Charles' first year as monarch and compare them to his predecessors. King Charles III ascended the throne on September 8, 2022, following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II who reigned for 70 years and was widely respected and admired around the world. The transition to a new monarch was inevitable, but also uncertain, as many people wondered how Charles would perform his role and what changes he would bring to the monarchy. One of the main concerns was whether Charles would continue to express his opinions on controversial issues, such as climate change, architecture, or religion, as he did when he was Prince of Wales. Some feared that he would overstep his constitutional boundaries and interfere with the government or the public affairs of the Commonwealth realms. Others hoped that he would use his influence and experience to advocate for positive change and innovation. However, in his first year as king, Charles has shown a remarkable sense of restraint and neutrality. He has avoided making any political statements or interventions and has focused on his ceremonial and symbolic duties. He has also maintained a high level of visibility and engagement, visiting various parts of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth, attending state functions and ceremonies, and supporting charitable causes and initiatives. According to royal commentator Justin Vark, he really has set a very neutral course. I think many people were expecting a lot of reform, a lot of change, in the way that he had advocated for as Prince of Wales. But I think really keeping things balanced has become his hallmark, keeping things uncontroversial, and keeping the institution stable. Some of the highlights of King Charles's first year include celebrating his 74th birthday by taking on a new park ranger post previously held by his father, Prince Philip, who died in April 2022, launching a new set of UK coins that feature large numbers to help children learn to count and celebrate his love of nature, hosting a reception for world leaders at Windsor Castle during the 26 Colombian Pesos Climate Summit in Glasgow, visiting Canada for the first time as king and meeting with Governor General Mary Simon, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Indigenous leaders and veterans, awarding knighthoods to British tennis star Andy Murray and actor Benedict Cumberbatch at Buckingham Palace. Of course, King Charles's first year has not been without challenges or controversies. Some of the low points include facing criticism for blocking a project that would honor Queen Elizabeth's legacy by commissioning a comprehensive biography of her life. Dealing with the ongoing legal troubles of his brother, Prince Andrew, who is accused of sexual abuse by Virginia Giafa. Struggling to repair his relationship with his son, Prince Harry, who stepped back from royal duties in 2020 and moved to California with his wife Meghan Markle and their two children. Having to balance the demands of being king of 16 Commonwealth realms that have different political and cultural views on the monarchy. How does King Charles compare to other leaders in the history of the royal family? This is a difficult question to answer objectively, as different monarchs face different circumstances and expectations. However, some possible criteria for comparison are Longevity – how long did they reign? Did they die naturally or abdicate? Popularity – how well were they liked by their subjects and the public? Did they have any scandals or conflicts? Influence – how much did they shape the political and social landscape of their time? Did they have any achievements or failures? Legacy How did they impact the future of the monarchy and the nation? Did they leave behind any lasting institutions or reforms? Using these criteria, we can see that King Charles has some advantages and disadvantages over his predecessors. For example, he has reigned longer than King Edward VIII, who abdicated after less than a year to marry American divorcee Wally Simpson. He is less influential than Queen Victoria, who presided over a vast empire, a long period of peace and prosperity, and significant social and cultural changes. He has not yet established his legacy as Queen Elizabeth II, who modernized the monarchy, strengthened the Commonwealth, and became a symbol of stability and continuity. Therefore, it is too early to judge whether King Charles is the worst leader in the history of the royal family. He has only been king for one year, and he still has many challenges and opportunities ahead of him. He may not be as revered as his mother, or as revolutionary as some of his ancestors, but he has shown a sense of duty, dignity, and balance that may serve him well in his role.
As constitutional expert Craig Prescott said, he's steering the ship, but he's not rocking it very much.